where do you see the industry trending towards in the future? Like, where do you see the the shifts coming? Because you talked about even eight years ago. Where do you ago. want it to go? Yeah. Like you, as someone who's literally, to some extent, you have influence. Yeah, you can kind of control, steer yeah. it. Yeah. Well, it's interesting because, well, I think COVID has accelerated this, but minimalism in all aspects of life, right? So we like to call it almost the Mary Kondo. Are you familiar with Mary Kondo? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Keep whatever sparks joy. And if it doesn't, you know, remove it from your life. It could be beauty. It can be furniture, fashion, people. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's it true. It can be people. Yeah. yeah. That's, people. that's easy. So I think that, that the trend of minimalism is here to stay. Just because, you know, especially with COVID, I think we've identified what aspects of life are important and what we really truly need. I would say that, you know, there's so many trends that come and go. There's so many trends that are recycled over the years and then also come back. Like think about, you know, right now we're having a huge surge in Y2K trends, right? So early 2000s are all coming back right now, whether it's like low-waisted jeans, really thin brows, um, lip liner, like all of that is coming back. And I'm like not mad about it, but I'm also kind of mad about it because the Gen Z community is only bringing back like the really good trends of early 2000, not like the layers of clothing. Like, I don't know if you watched any of the red carpet like of like early 2000s, but like a lot of these celebrities would wear like 10 layers of clothes. They would wear like a t-shirt and then the tank top on top. And then they'd wear like shorts and a skirt on top. It was kind of insane. For me, what I would love to see moving forward is really that. And really this like, the beauty community really adopting the whole concept of like less is more and really enhancing what they have and feeling good and feeling confident in, in their natural beauty. And I also kind of see a trend towards men, male cosmetics as well. I think we're all seeing a few, you know, celebrity, male celebrities from Pharrell who just launched skincare. And then you have, I think like A-Rod is launching like men cosmetics um, shortly. Oh. Yeah, A-Rod getting into the beauty world. Listen, Every Will single person, sorry. Will you guys get into the men's skincare world or the men beauty world? Um, so nude sticks is fairly gender neutral, but <laughs> I know to most men, it's not the case. And it's interesting because my boyfriend and I talk about this a lot because, you know, whether it's because he wants to cover up a pimple or he always talks about how intimidating it is to walk into a beauty retailer. So even if, you know, Sephora does carry a male cosmetic line, it's very, very, rare that you know a male who doesn't necessarily wear makeup will walk into a retailer like that but i do think that there there will be a shift towards men wearing makeup but there needs to be a brand that makes it feel really masculine so i kind of picture like a jason momoa mm. as the ambassador specimen interesting the yeah specimen my wife if was he... just with him oddly enough really my wife went to the premiere of 007 wow and she was like i'm here with jason momoa and she's like wow wow just wow, <laughs> just wow. that's it you're like, like thank you very much pretty crazy yeah I was like, that's his specimen. Of Did it human. make you want to start hitting the gym? No, no. <laughs> he's like, if I were next, I'd be like, wow. Yeah, like it's yeah. Not, he's, I don't have, I don't have that. I'm just no. like, you are an amazing looking human. Yeah. yeah, that's interesting. So I was thinking, like, when I was in high school, my sister, if I had a pimple, like, she'd put, on, she'd easily go grab her cover up and just yeah. put it on my face, and I didn't think anything of it. I was like, thanks, yeah. that was very helpful of you. Yeah. But if I didn't have the sister. I did been, not, and I can you tell you that, that I didn't. I didn't. I did not have that. She was access. older. And yeah. I didn't. It wasn't like a choice thing. She would just do it. You know, I wasn't like, "Hey, can you help me?" It was like, "You're not going to school like that." I was like, "Oh, thanks." 